When deciding on their next Southeast Asian vacation, travelers frequently weigh the options between the Philippines and Indonesia. Many discover that both countries provide distinct experiences, from lively languages to tasty foods. This often leaves potential tourists unsure about which country to choose. Just north of Indonesia lies the Philippines, an archipelago with over 100 million people. From the pristine sands of Palawan to Bohol's chocolate hills, more tourists are beginning to unravel the hidden beauty in the Philippines. Number 1. Economy Indonesia's GDP per person is a lot more than the Philippines. By the end of 2022, the World Bank figures show that Indonesia's GDP per person was about $14,675, while the Philippines was about $10,136. That's about a difference of over 40%. Believe it or not, the Philippines used to be way ahead of Indonesia in the past, especially during the Marcos senior era. The Philippines has an economic freedom score of 64, making them the 70th freest in 2022. The overall score increased by 0.7 points, mostly due to higher government integrity score. In the Asia-Pacific region, the Philippines is ranked 14 out of 42 countries, and its score is higher than the global and regional averages. For seven consecutive years, the Philippines has maintained a moderately free economy. The GDP growth has been impressive, averaging over 6% in the last five years. Indonesia has been more successful in attracting foreign direct investments compared to the Philippines. Indonesia managed to attract foreign capital for developing its natural resources. The government permitted fully owned foreign companies to join forces with the government in joint ventures for exploiting natural resources. Number two, infrastructure. Indonesia currently has better infrastructure, but the Philippines is making progress in catching up. Plans for Philippine infrastructure project under Marcos were cancelled by his opponents, redirecting funds to other initiatives. From 1986 to 2010, during the Aquino administration to her son's rule, few projects were undertaken. During the Arroyo administration from 2004 to 2010, corruption was prevalent in projects. However, in 2016, the Duterte administration initiated more projects under the Build, Build, Build program. Despite opposition, the projects received funding from the government, private sectors, and financial institutions. Critics either criticize or try to take credit for these projects. In Indonesia, spending is mainly on transportation like MRTs and LRTs and toll roads. Meanwhile, the Philippines focuses on creating resorts, high-end buildings, and a few transportation projects. Number three, food. Indonesian cuisine is aromatic that draws influence from a variety of cultures with an array of dishes that appeals to meat eaters and vegetarians alike. On the other hand, Filipino cuisine is often savory and sweet, which is a result of influences taken from diverse Eastern and Western cultures. Tourists who love meat are bound to find a Filipino dish they enjoy, whether it's the world-famous adobo or the mouth-watering whole-roasted pig known as lechon. Meanwhile, travelers with a sweet tooth can enjoy delicacies like purple yam, or it's called in the Philippines, ube, ice cream, or lechiflan. Both nations experience foreign colonization, the Philippines by the Spanish and Indonesia as a Dutch overseas entity. Indonesia later became the largest European colonial possession in Southeast Asia. If other European powers, not just the Dutch, had colonized Indonesia, the archipelago might have ended up divided into smaller separate nations, similar to what we see in the Caribbean islands or the former British colonies in Southeast Asia where they didn't unite as a one single country. Four, culture and cultural practices. In the Philippines, people value family and being welcoming. Filipinos are famous for enjoying singing. Traditional dances and festivals honor both pre-colonial and colonial heritage. In Indonesia, there is a wide range of cultural practices because of the many ethnic groups. 
with influences taken from both Western and Eastern cultures. The Philippines' culture is still rich that many tourists can appreciate. It's worth noting that modern Filipino culture is greatly shaped by American and Spanish influences from the times of colonization. But if you go to the southern parts, particularly Mindanao, you can still feel and see the native indigenous cultures. 5. Getting around both Indonesia and the Philippines have plenty of international flight arrivals, so getting into the country isn't that hard. It's the getting around that can prove challenging. In larger cities like Manila or Jakarta, public transport systems are in place to keep up with the faster paced life. Number six, reliable transportation. The Philippines has slightly better and more reliable flights, trains, and boat travel between islands. Once you get out to one of these smaller islands, you might find that road quality is poor, so traveling overland can take longer than you think. Indonesia is vaster with more islands to navigate. Getting out to the more remote destinations can be a tiring journey, consisting of domestic flights, bumpy boat rides, and slow road travel. Number seven, great surfing experience. Both destinations have consistent swell and warm waters making it one of the most popular activities to do when visiting these islands but what else is there to do and which destination has more to offer palawan provides tourists with a highly satisfying surfing experience both the philippines and indonesia are home to some of the world's best coral reefs Palawan Stubataha Reefs Natural Park in the Philippines is a UNESCO World Heritage Site that is filled with rich marine biodiversity. Indonesia's rival is the Komodo National Park. As Indonesia is the more popular destination for tourists, we can expect there to be more of a choice when it comes to accommodation across the islands. Tourism has been well established in Indonesia for several decades now whereas the Philippines is slowly being discovered by more travelers. Number eight, less crowded tourist spots. If you're looking for a more adventurous holiday to a country barely visited with raw natural beauty and lots of culture to discover, then the Philippines could be a better option than Indonesia. With the Philippines receiving less than 10 million tourists a year, and Indonesia receiving close to 20 million. You'll find that both offer vacations that feel more cultural and less touristy than vacations in neighboring countries like Thailand. And this is the beauty of the Philippines. It does not draw massive crowds of tourists. This translates to numerous delightful tourist spots, particularly for those who prefer less crowded destinations. Just picture having an entire island all to yourself. Both countries have beautiful landscapes, mountains, jungles, and waterfalls to explore. If beaches are your main priority, then Indonesia and Philippines have great choices. Number nine, ease of travel. It's easier to travel from one place to another in the Philippines, and the public transport is cheap and reliable. In comparison, the public transport system in Indonesia is not so great. Number 10, Affordability. In terms of expenses, the Philippines is cheaper than Indonesia, especially Bali. Number 11. Ease of communication. English is recognized as one of the Philippines' official languages. Due to the country's education system, which is primarily taught in English, and its ties to Western culture, many locals can converse in English. From hailing down taxi cabs to ordering food at a local restaurant, English-speaking tourists can get by in the Philippines without having to speak Tagalog. While it's impossible to fully experience the country in a couple of days, travelers looking for a short-term relaxing beach destination can find one in the Philippines. Many tourists flock to El Nido, Boracay, and Banglao Islands to enjoy a nice beach vacation. For a quieter destinations, consider visiting Surigao or Camigan Island. If you're staying in Manila, the country's capital city, you can still enjoy a nice beach getaway near Manila. Number 12, great nightlife. Although Bali has a vibrant nightlife, complete with clubs, travelers who love the party scene should visit the Philippines. While Manila is home to a variety of bars, destinations such as Boracay, El Nido, Surga, offer tourists beautiful beach views while enjoying a night out on the town. Budget travelers looking to party will appreciate how far their money can go 
in the Philippines, you can often find great street food and drinks when strolling through the town. To wrap this video, let's include opinions from individuals in Indonesia, the Philippines, as well as foreigners. The first comment is from Sherwin. He writes, I have to be honest, I am a Filipino, but Indonesia is just better in terms of development, infrastructure, and economy. That's the most important. But I love being Filipino. Although Philippines is chaotic, I still love my country, the people, humor, music, entertainment, and culture. Maybe because Indonesia and Islam is more conservative and strict. Dave writes, I've lived, worked, and traveled extensively in both countries. And first off, I'd have to say that comparing World Bank or CIA fact book statistics between the two countries, as some have done, is simply misleading. Comparing Indonesia to the Philippines is like comparing Europe to America. Europe's population is about three times that of America. Its language and cultural diversity is far greater, particularly geographically. Its religious and philosophical differences are also far greater. Variations in poverty, quality of environment, governance are also much greater. Variety of national cuisine is much greater, as also the fact there is less foreign cuisine available. All of this is just as true of Indonesia as compared to the Philippines. He continues, while many of those responding think they are comparing Indonesia to the Philippines, in reality, most are comparing Java to Central Philippines, and that's not really a fair comparison. The average statistics of Indonesia certainly look better than the Philippines, and that's because the majority of population are in Java. I think it would be fair to say that the average Javanese person has better access to transport infrastructure. But then show me a train line network anywhere else in Indonesia. Better roads, electricity, and investment. But show that elsewhere. In the rest of Indonesia, outside of places like Makassar and Bali, it goes downhill fast. Alcohol and pork are much rarer in Java than the Philippines, but it's hard to go far in Flores or Bali without encouraging both. Catholicism dominates central and northern Philippines, much as Islam dominates Central and Western Indonesia. But Southern Philippines remains much more mixed as does Eastern Indonesia. School attendance rates may be better across Indonesia, but quality of education drops off quickly outside the big population centers. Philippines really has a few big cities, whereas Indonesia has many. If a nuclear bomb was dropped on Manila and Cebu, the rest of the country would be in total chaos for a long time. While in Indonesia, if you took out the top two cities, sure, it would have a devastating effect, but half a dozen other major cities would leap to the rescue quickly. Both countries actually have a very similar moral code. Respect for religion, community, family, and elders are important. Corruption is rife in both, though perhaps less obvious on the day-to-day -day surface in the Philippines and more apparent in the top end of town. In the Philippines, having old colonial blood and trappings means a lot. In Indonesia, it means little or nothing, though both countries totally admire mixed-race Eurasian children. Without doubt, the biggest differences felt by newly arriving foreigners are those caused by the difference in the religion of the majority of the population. Whether or not in an area of that religion, the national predominant belief dominates. Over most of the Philippines, bikinis, bars, and pork certainly are common, while over most of Indonesia they're not. In one country, mosques around in the other, it's churches. The influence of religion is by far the most visually confronting difference. I see a few people have commented about malls being better in the Philippines. That's probably not objectively correct, though they are different. Some of the bigger malls in Jakarta make Philippine malls seem paltry and small. Though Philippines customs laws mean many more international products available there, the Ayala family's open-air malls are an innovation that has not taken off in Indonesia, although it's been tried. Proximity to the equator may be a factor. The lower population density of the Philippines means that natural areas often appear cleaner with more biodiversity than in Java, though areas like Raja Ampat in Indonesia stand out in comparison to anything in the Philippines. Hey MV writes, I'm a Filipino, 
and I have heard lots of great things from my parents about Indonesia stuff than the country where I live, so I was intrigued and I did some research. Overall, here is what I came up with. Government, both just the same when it comes to the flaws. The corruption has been so vile that it has dragged the economic growth of both countries. But the Philippines has a slightly much fine handling system about it in, than Indonesia. Education. I would say that Indonesia cared its citizens about education than the Philippines, but there are still holes in the education system, such as teaching things and values that could be a necessity over the time that would help the economy through laborers, people and culture. Both are hospitable and have great culture to discover. So my answer is both are great on its own. Both have flaws and great quirks. I think it's based on the citizen on how they will view the country's amazing features. Finally, because I live here and my family is from here, my opinion might be a little bit biased. I prefer to live in the Philippines, even though it has some problems. So what do you think of the Philippines? What do you think of Indonesia? Which country do you think is better? How are they different?